I got a start on the workshop yesterday. I got a bunch of shelving built. Uh, just had to run home. We had about six inches of snow overnight. So I had to go back to the homestead and plow that place out. Picked up some lumber. And I got an, order, an art order in the mail. So I got that ready to ship out. And, uh, back at the cabin. I'm not sure what the date is today. I think it's the 18th or 19th now, I think. Something like that. And it's been good. It's been a great New Year's, man. How you doing, Fiend? He likes his cabin time. Back in the cabin yard. Frankie's all in a panic. He left his frisbee out here someplace and then it snowed overnight. So now it's gone. Won't find it till spring. Look at him. Use your nose. Sniff it out. Use your nose. Find your frisbee. Could have left it anywhere, man. Get a different toy. You got enough of them. Wish I had his problems. Well, after getting the lumber squared away, I got right down to business on the workshop project. One more throw for my apprentice and let's get to work. Oh, he's a pretty good helper sometimes, but he always feels he's got to inspect my workmanship. See what I mean? I pre-cut all the components I needed for the workbench and the cabinets, and the little workshop came together like a jigsaw puzzle. I'll have a place for everything, and everything in its place. Okay, well, here is the little workshop. Wood stove's all set up. Got some shelves, cabinets. It's all coming together pretty nice now. I got my workbench all built. Uh, got some cabinets built. I'm just going to build doors for that one and for that one there. And I put a shelf running along the perimeter up top all the way around. I make good use of space there. I just don't have it behind the stove, of course. The old pot belly is uh, working out really nice in here. I got my spot so I can hang my boots and waders to dry out. Um, down here, this is where the battery bank for the solar is going to go. And the panels are going to go on the roof right here, the south slope. So everything will be right here. I know a lot of folks are anxious to see that go in. And I will film the process and we can learn together on that. I just haven't been in any hurry. Uh, I've been running the cabin on some old car batteries that weren't even any good to run a vehicle anymore. And I just switch them out as need be. And I'm not inconvenienced by it. Uh, it's more of a convenience for me just to have electric light in there. And I use very, very little power and those old batteries have done the job. So here, I'm going to have uh, some 6 volt AGM gel cells and there's no question in my mind that the 400 watt system will be more power than I need to run my power tools I gotta run the generator once in a while that's fine I don't that's completely acceptable to me so I got a, a, a lot of workbench here like here's a little drawer for my sandpaper this is an old drawer out of an old junk refrigerator I've got my dad's old vice here. Ah, everything's coming together. A little uh, first aid kit. These magnet strips. These are really handy for things. And all my screw bits. I got a cork board. My dry eraser thing. I got a Jeremiah Johnson poster. I've had that for years. What's a man cave without some Jeremiah Johnson, huh? And then down here, I have my hooks for all my extension cords. My dad's old rolling workbench there. 
these shelves here I made specifically for these this style coffee can now, I don't drink that kind of coffee so I gotta find folks that do and save me some coffee cans see it's nice and cozy in here it's just gonna be a nice place just to putter on stuff you know, work on a chainsaw do a little wood carving who knows just hang out maybe when Joe comes or I have a friend over we just sit here and putter around on something I don't intend to do any cutting uh, here uh, that's what that roof was for I can set up a table saw chop saw that sort of thing out there keep all the sawdust out there and in here will just be minimal stuff you know there's not enough room in here to rerun in a table saw and all of that and I didn't intend it to be just wanted a little space just to get out of the weather come in here you know I could cut up a deer in here I could put up a little fur or something like that and then store the fur in another building or something but all in all I mean I really like it I'm thrilled it's nice and warm in here man little piddly fire in there let's see it's just not much of a fire in there at all and uh, over here by the window it looks like it's 76 degrees so 76 in here with a little piddly fire like that and you can't complain about that yeah so now the building is coming together and I am pretty excited about it I'm really anxious to get a project going now I got the old Griswold tight top baster I got this pot from my parents oh probably 30 years ago and I'm pretty certain that my mother said it was her mother's I never got to meet my grandparents they had passed away before I was born anyway the family heirloom continues to cook on That looks good. It's been a while since I've had some fried chicken. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Some more nice chow cooked in the old Griswold. Gotta love cast iron. That looks pretty good right there, man. <laughs> Look at that silly dog. Is he sitting against the bed or is he laying against the bed? <laughs> Crazy. I picked up a new bag of seed while I was in town. The birdies wanted the feeder filled and I was happy to oblige. It was a nice quiet morning. Zero degrees and not a sound in the air except for the birds. It didn't stay quiet for long though once Frankie found a squirrel. <laughs> All right, crazy dog. <laughs> Looks like you're on a pogo stick, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie, you're hilarious. <laughs>